Hey there everyone, uh, I just thought I'd give another uh, CNC router update here. Um, as you can see there's my electronics box and hey what do you know, it's actually mounted to the router. Um, so I've got most of the motors wired up now. Um, I left the uh, the y-axis uh, rack and pinion with that motor down in Seattle. Uh, Again, it's two weekends in a row I've forgotten it, but I had more than enough to do here uh, wiring up the three motors. I've got uh, the, uh, uh, that, I think that's actually connected to the A axis and the Z and then the X down on the other end. Um, so uh, yeah, everything's connected. It's Not everything is, is cleaned up and, and as you can see there's a bit of a cabling uh, uh, dilemma going on. Uh, obviously this will all need to go into some kind of a cable carrier, but um, I'm really anxious to get uh, to get to actually see this thing move. So that this will just be good enough until that happens. Um, you can see there with some little wires sticking out of that bundle. Um, that'll be the y-axis. Um, so what I did, I don't think I've been able to explain this before, but um, instead of running individual cables for each motor, which would mean four cables. I'm actually just running two cables um, that are uh, uh, multi-conductor. They're actually four, uh, excuse me, 14 uh, uh, separate uh, uh, conductors in there. Um, and it's heavy gauge wire, so it's more than enough to handle the stepper motor uh, pulses. And uh, the problem with running them all together is that you could have crosstalk. Well, since there were 14 and I only needed eight, uh, that made it pretty easy uh, to uh, to to shield the others and provide some uh, shielding between the uh, the separate uh, the separate motors. So you can see here, this is kind of a diagram cross section of that cable. Uh, so what I've, what I've done is I've taken four and uh, uh, and designated those to uh, one motor, uh, uh, one axis, so to speak, and then taken four on the other side and gone to the other one. And then all the ones in between are grounded out to the shield. So hopefully that'll provide enough uh, um, uh, enough shielding uh, that they won't crosstalk, um, we'll cross our fingers. Uh, it'd really be a shame if they did because uh, this has been a lot of work. Even though all those cables were cheap, um, I got a whole bunch of those at the university surplus for a dollar each, uh, so that that saved me a, a pretty penny. But if it all if I have to rip it all out, then uh, well, that would really suck. Uh, but anyway, uh, there we are. Probably just uh, another week or two away from actually seeing some movement out of this thing. Um, so yep, there we go.